Platinum, thanks for stopping by. All right, first things first, let's do a fit check. What are you wearing? Got on some exclusive Air Jordan Nike collab hat. Got on a Rick Owens cardigan. Uh, Got to represent Chicago Iridium. Uh, Chrome Hearts shorts. Some antisocial socks and some Panda Ones. All right, always dripping, I see. Right, yes, sir, cool. yes, sir. Got to stay fly. Platinum. I am the uh, CEO of all things Iridium Clothing, Iridium Inc. based out of Chicago. We have uh, a store here where we sell men, women clothing, a variety of brands. Sneakers are uh, private labeled as well. Been around for about, let's say, 10 plus years. I was location in Atlanta and um, yeah, he's a fashion designer. Um, a uh, stylist, uh, creator, uh, a bear of God. I used to work in uh, VIP guest services in the Bahamas. My main clients were uh, celebrities, uh, movie, um, A-list, B-list, um, musicians. Um, so they would come down to the Bahamas and Atlantis Hotel and stay down there and I was their concierge, you know, so anything they needed, I would provide for them. So I used to take a lot of, uh, you know, celebs to um, shopping and um, take them to nightclubs or whatnot. So anyway, uh, one of my homies, um, you know, he always would see me with these, you know, stars and be like, damn, bro, like, you know, what are you, what do you do? And I'm just like, yeah, I'm just like a concierge, you know, I just show him what's, what's good. And he was like, man, like, you always just hanging out with all these, like, platinum artists and da da da. And I was just like, oh, yeah, I guess. And then he's like, man, were you like Mr. Platinum or something? And I was like, nah, bro, like you tripping. Like I'm just, you know, just doing my job. Like I'm getting paid to do this. Fortunate and blessed to be have this opportunity, but I never looked at it like that. But so the name kind of stuck, and uh, a lot of people like started calling me Platinum. You know, yeah, that's Platinum. Yeah, that's Platinum. Yeah, yeah, that's Platinum. You know, and so I kind of ran with it. I guess I kind of took the name and and made it more appropriate for me as a person and what I stand for as an individual. Platinum, in a sense to me, is a statement of my lifestyle. It's a statement of the things that I stand for. It's a statement for the things that I stand by. So anything that I strive for in life, I want to be the best. In the worldly category of the most precious metal, you know, being platinum is the best. So when you get the most record sales, you read at a platinum level. So it's synonymous for the best. So I took that and and um, embedded it into my lifestyle. So anything that I do, anything that I'm a part of, you know, I do it to the most platinum is. I can. Uh, Iridium, um, originally when I started my clothing line, it was called uh, Platinum. I just gave it some more thought and I was just like, hey man, like, you know, I should make it something a little bit more interesting, a little bit more um, original in the sense of, you know, because there's Platinum Motors, Platinum Insurance, Platinum, you know, um, jewelry. And so I was like, let me try find a name that um, will still embody what I'm about but still represent the same thing. And in essence, Iridium is the purest form of platinum. So Iridium is the purest form of what I, you know, introduce or give or design or, or, or create. Within the past three years, you've been through a lot from battling cancer to having your store looted. You want to run me down through those events and tell me, how do you remain so hopeful, so positive throughout all of this? You know, you guys have been with me since day one um, from my ro this roller coaster ride. Um, I remember doing a feature with you guys um, when I first was going through my cancer journey. 
And um, basically, you know, I was diagnosed with a osteosarcoma, which is a cancer of the tissue in the bone. And it was located in my um, axillary um, upper jaw area. I had to go through the process of getting it removed, which included um, three months of chemotherapy and um, reconstruction facial surgery, where they removed my upper jaw and took a bone out of my leg and took that bone and put it in my jaw. And they did like about six months of recovery from that as well. And then, um, you know, obviously, um, you know, cancer is a a deadly situation and um, you know I give thanks and praises to God every day for um, giving me the opportunity to still be here you know I don't take any day for granted and I'm just happy that I was able to uh, to make it through that journey and um, you know I feel like it was something that I guess I had to go through so I could become the person I am today which I still feel like I right now today even without an upper jaw I'm like the best version of myself that I've ever been. And um, I had to experience that, you know, that was a part of my story, a part of my journey. Last year with the um, George Floyd situation and the uprising and the looting, um, you know, we had both of our stores affected. Um, both of our stores got hit last year and they basically took everything from us. I'm kind of happy that I went through my whole Kansas situation for that because it helped me to deal with the looting situation much better than I would have without experiencing something worse than looting. And really, to be honest, it was a blessing in disguise, the whole process, you know? And that's one of the things that keep me um, motivated and, and uplifted and bright is because, you know, we all have our story. We all have things that we have to go through um, to become the best or the worst versions of ourselves. That was a part of my story. And looking back at that whole experience and I look where I am at today, um, you know, my business has never been better and, you know, my life has never been better. And, you know, I give, you know, all thanks and praises to God. And, and that's what keeps me going, you know, because I know no matter my trials and tribulations, you know, I was a part of the plan. And, you know, I could sit here today and say that, you know, I'm the best version of myself that I've ever been, including my business. The new store is just uh, a magical wonderland of, of just vibes, you know. Um, you know, we have you know, the best sneakers that you, that money can buy. We have the, the best clothes that money can buy. We have the best experiences that are for free, you know? Um, so it's not even just all about a financial gain for us, but it's just like creating an environment and experience for people once they walk into the do in our doors that they'll just be in awe. So we created this um, Disneyland of, of streetwear, you know, because it was something that I know the city of Chicago needed. And, you know, I've traveled a lot and I've visited a lot of different stores. Um, and, you know, I just said, hey man, this is something that, you know, our city needs. And I was just happy that we were able to provide an amazing, you know, magical, wonderful land of, uh, of, of a shopping, cultural experience inside our store. When it comes to me with shoes, um, it's uh, style and function and com comfortability. I think my top shoe of last year, which was interesting because before like, you know, the bigger brands like Complex and, and uh, Sneaker News did like their top 10 of, of shoes. Like I already had picked mine and I was telling everyone like, hey, this is my top shoe. And I was like, nah, nah, like it, that's just a regular joint. Looking at all of those guys and what they reported, we both actually had the same top shoe. And it was probably the, um, the Nike uh, Air Jordan Off-White 5s. The, um, the grayish black colorway. I could wear them every day for comfort and style. They would go with every fit that I had. I also enjoyed Joe Fresh Goods. His new balance are just like a work of art. You know, um, I was so proud to know that I knew I knew the guy that actually created those because those are uh, very they're super comfortable and once again, you know, 
stylistically they're, they're you know amazing to wear and then third would probably be the off-white jordan fours the sail colorway like those are just like those are just so pretty you know and those are some shoes they're almost like air force ones like you could only wear them once you know because you just you know you see them and they look just like amazing and then you don't want to get them dirty I think uh, less Brandon, you know, like um, and more, more, more style, you know, and more in different materials. A lot of these brands are like exploring with recycled materials, um, you know, um, just finding new ways to make the shoes more comfortable and wearable for a longer period of time, and at the same time being more conscious of the environment. You know, that's very important because, um, you know, a lot of these brands don't even think about that or they just are more interested in the bottom line, how much money they can make off of the product. But I think a lot of more people are going to become more conscious of the environmental issues and create shoes based upon that. Something that my family would be proud of. You know, that's the only people who I do everything that I do for. You know, my daughter, uh, you know, my wife, my, my, my you know, siblings, um, parents. And as long as they're proud of what I've achieved, then I'm good. You know, I'm not really worried about um, the masses, you know, because I'm, I'm really worried about leaving something that they can be proud of to say, hey, that was my dad, that was my husband, that was my son. Um, and I think as long as I do that, I'd be, you know, happy about the legacy that I've left behind. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Platinum, Q&A with Clark Street Collective. Come through downtown Chicago, Iridium, 108 North State Street, Block 37 Mall. We got what you need. We got the freshest, dopest kicks. We got love. We got care. We got passion. We got Jesus. Love you guys, man. Can't wait to see y'all. Thank you guys for this opportunity. Cross Street, y'all know it is. We fam. Nailed it. That was beautiful. <laughs>